Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I'm really excited once again to be able to bring you a Banggood.com review. For those of you who don't already know, Banggood.com contacted me to ask whether I'd like to do some reviews for them. And of course I said yes. Um, and I got to choose whatever equipment I liked. Um, and from all their lock picking uh, equipment and tools, I, I chose things which I thought new and intermediate pickers might be curious about. Um, that, you know, people who would go to banggood.com and say, hmm, I fancy having one of those. Well, in front of you is a wave rake set. And um, this is currently on banggood.com for, um, I think, around uh, £7.90, something like that. And um, the good people at banggood.com regardless of the, the price already being good, have given us a 25% off voucher. So please look below in the video description and um, you'll find a 25% off voucher that should run to the end of March 2017. Um, and that makes it uh, just under £6 um, for everything you see here in front of you. So this um, set comes with the 10 double-sided uh, wave or brush rakes and uh, therefore it gives you 20 different profiles plus seven um, wire finger rakes and of course it comes in a perfectly serviceable um, plastic case to, to hold them all in although personally I'd probably want to get myself um, another folding case or something like that. One good thing though is that this set is made by um, Honest Dong Shi who if you watch a few videos back, make my favourite dimple rakes, which I also got from Banggood.com. Um, go check out that video if you're interested in dimple lock flags. So, back to what's in front of us. Um, these are wave rakes. You might say, well, what is a wave rake? Well, you are probably familiar with something like the classic city rake or L rake. I'll see if I've got one in my in my kit to show you. Um, and that looks a bit like this. And the term rake is a little bit um, erroneous because of course you can rake or scrub the pins with this, but actually it's designed for a gentle rocking motion to try and uh, put as many different sort of bittings into the lock cylinder as you can to try and um, replicate the actual bitting of a key. So this is what these wave rakes or brush rakes actually do. You offer them up one at a time to a lock and you can go through and gently rake, rock and oscillate them in the key way to try and replicate different key profiles. Um, let's move the case out of the way, you don't really need that at the moment um, and get something out of the way first. These wire finger rakes, you get seven of them um, they work in really low security locks, like the kind of like small two or three pin locks I, um, that you lock maybe suitcases up with and things like that, and some other low security locks, but I haven't had a, an awful lot of success with these. Um, this isn't the reason why I wanted to buy this kit, and it isn't the reason I suggest you buy the kit either. There's nothing wrong with them, they do work in the right lock, but... I would say that they are um, just a, a nice extra, a nice extra which uh, you don't really, really need, and I don't think add much more value than you, you get here, apart from the fact they can enter smaller keyways maybe. Um, so not bad to have, not essential to the kit. Just want to get that out of the way. Um, they, you can see that they're finished nicely. They they um, of, of a number of different peaks, um, from single peak uh, to one, two, three, five peaks and, and everything in between. But again, your mileage may vary. I didn't get much success out of these picks. There's nothing wrong with them. They do get you into some locks. Um, but like I said, more of a nice extra, I think, to this kit than saying that I'd buy the kit for. Let's actually look at the, the main show. And what you get is, I, I can only assume they're stainless steel. There's nothing to tell me otherwise. Um, stainless steel rakes, double-sided rakes, and they appear from the markings here to be uh, laser cut. 
they have been tumbled they they're not sharp and the actual profiles themselves in terms of the this how slender they are are actually quite good you'll see that um all of the picks have a a profile which um is thicker towards the end and that's good because a lot of a lot of the motion you're going to be doing is going to be up and down rocking um and you'll see that you get 10 different profiles why do you get 10 well if you don't know the bitting of the lock or, or the key that would go into the lock, then you're going to have to go profile to profile to profile um, until it either opens a lock or doesn't. You do have a classic half diamond though, uh, which means that you are likely to be able to do some single pin picking if you need to, um, if the lock isn't able to be rocked or lightly ranked. Um, I really like the fact that they're numbered and the overall quality, I'll just pick up another one, um, seems to be pretty high, I have to say. Um, no sharp edges, there's a, a few uh, minor um, defects on, on one or two of these, but, you know, honestly, for the, the price, and, you know, you can get this for under £6 for use of voucher, I have nothing to complain about at all, I really don't. Um, you know, I, th I think these are fun. Do they get you into every lock? Um, no, no. I mean, technically, your half diamond could get you into, uh, you know, if you're going to use it as a, a hybrid rake slash pick, will get you into quite a lot of locks. But you know, the the profiles of locks in terms of their keys are not infinite, but huge. So to be able to say, you know, this kit will get you into any lock um, would be wrong. But it, these will get you into a lot of locks. I hope to demonstrate that. And here we are onto the demonstration itself. So, um, how do you use these these wave rakes? Well, if you don't know what the bitting of the key that would operate a lock is, you're going to have to go through all of them, each side, all 20 of them, until you get through um, a, to a profile which does offer up the same bitting as the key would, if at all. Like I said, they're not guaranteed to get in, but you'd be amazed if you imagine 20 different sides and how many different angles of attack and how many uh, different uh, profiles you can offer up inside a lock. You're talking about hundreds, if not thousands here, just with the 20 rakes. So you are likely, with a bit of skill and luck, to get into a number of different types of lock. Uh, what type of lock? Well, I've got a Euro cylinder here. Um, we've got a padlock over here. We'll have a go at getting into. But, um, you know, really anything including dimple locks that you can get these up close to the pins with, you have a chance of uh, picking. Uh, you could be unlucky and actually have to uh, go through, you know, each um, wave rake a number of times before you, you get an open, in which case you might think, well, isn't it quicker to single pin pick? And I would say possibly yes, but single pin picking is a skill in itself. And um, as a lock sporter, I actually like to attack and get into locks with all sorts of different um, methods and tools. So this is why I, I really like this set because it allows me to have fun with a load of locks in a different way than single pin picking or using standard rakes does. So um, enough of me talking, let's let's have a practice. Now this may take a couple of minutes because um, this isn't a quick process. It can be quick and sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But what we're going to try to do is use this um, uh, number seven wave rate to get in here. I have tried this before and it does work. Um, so uh, very light tension, that's the key here, extremely light tension. This may even slip round it's under such light tension. I will keep um, resetting and rocking as we go. So wish me luck. Let's have a go at getting into this um, pretty new Euro Sunday fans. I think it's brand new, I don't think it's ever been used. Um, now we're just gonna go in and rock back and forth um, for the most part. We're not interested in um in you know uh, scrubbing and raking uh, with with this kit in particular although it can be used lightly in that regard um we're just going to get in there might need to reset again and have a go and uh, just get under those pins um rocking as we go Try and get up a bit closer, move move up, um, you know, in, into the pins and away from the pins. Um, offer up as many different uh, profiles, near and far, to the actual um, 
you know locking mechanism as you can and um, back away and you're, you're trying to just um, rock and rake these uh, these pins in this lock so let's see how I can do reset again So there's a little bit of skill and, and luck involved with this. Um, sometimes you get in in seconds, sometimes it takes minutes. Uh, we've got an open, so there we go. So I think there's a couple of minutes there. Um, and you can see that um, you know I haven't damaged this metal. It seems to be quite nice metal. It's, uh, it's quite flexible, but it springs back. So um, you know it's, it's quite durable, but just look how thin it is. So be careful if you do get one of these, you know, uh, metal is metal and you've got to look after it. Okay, so that was a number seven, that was a, a euro lock. Why did that work? Let's have a look at the key. And you should see here that um, this bitting on the key and the uh, wave profile on the pick do line up. So you can imagine if I'm in there, uh, the first peak will match up with pin two, the second with pin uh, three and uh, the third with pin five. So that's that's what we're trying to do. You know, offer up the right angle, the right position in the lock to replicate the key, so that it does um, indeed work. Um, let's choose another one. What have I got? So I believe that this uh, lock, which I picked the other day for you, um, well, let's have let's go straight and have a look at the key. So look at this bitting here. I reckon that hmm, maybe not that side. Let's have a look at this side. Yeah, I reckon that if I'm lucky, I could use something like this to just um, gently uh, rock and rake back and forth and see if I can't um, get into this lock that way with uh, that profile. Alternatively, I could actually swap it around on the number eight and just see whether I can do the same thing um, using that side. In fact, I might use that side first. It looks promising. Okay, so uh, center wrench in again very light tension it's all locked up and let's get in there and have a go and there we go we've got an open that's a bit quicker um, and just goes to show doesn't it so I hope you enjoyed that video, I genu genuinely do. Um, if you do want to win this, then um, just like and subscribe and put a comment below. I'll do a draw in about a week's time and pick a comment at random. All the rules are below, but essentially I'll um, pick a winner. Um, I'll end the competition when I wish. My decision is final. I'll post it, but I can't guarantee delivery, of course, because I don't own any postal services around the world and um, more importantly it's got to be legal to send lock picking equipment to the country that you reside in okay um, don't forget there's a 25% off voucher and a link underneath in the description if you're interested in this kit um, and you can't wait to find out uh, if you've won the the draw for this piece of kit um, and hopefully I'll see you next time